Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the process of making the child outdoor portrait photography more amazing. So how to do that and what will be the output and result. You have seen the cover photo of my YouTube video and my community post. So that's why you just getting that it will be more amazing. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification at first press ctrl j for the new copy of this layer or backup purpose and go to the filter camera filter from here i'll just add a preset here go to the load settings options i made a preset for you guys for you only so i'll provide you this preset to you so let's see the before one and after one if i make it zoom you are getting here the before scenario and after scenario what is that and here before and after and this what i have done here let's see if you have any kind of question query please do comment on my video comment section and here let's see what will be the things or what will be the effect or what will be the settings for this amazing effect here i made the preset chair that is minus six and the tint minus seven and exposure i didn't touch that contrast plus 33 and highlight 15 and uh, whites and blacks zero you have assumption to make it out if you need you can increase the whites or decrease the whites and increase the blacks or decrease the blacks whatever you want and the clarity that is plus nine and variance or vibrance and the saturation that is zero and zero if you need you can increase that it's totally up to you and here i made the curves a tone curve rgb tone curve locked here and locked here and i made it a little bit upper side just because of the matte type glow or effects and red i didn't touch that and green i didn't touch and blue i didn't touch that and then the sharpening or amount of sharpening i made it 70 the sharpening amount and the luminance of noise reduction 38 and the radius 1.6 and detail 25 and the rest of the thing is like that and color detail 50 and color smoothing 50 and 25 for the color chisel most important thing and most important panel of the camera raw filter and here i made the hue saturation and luminance hue is the color belt what type of color you want to use in your photo and the saturation this is the how deep will be the color and luminance how light will be the color the hue here i made the red hue that is plus uh, 32 for the yellowish color tone and the orange hue minus one yellow hue minus 11 just because of orange type feelings and here the green minus 100 that's why the green is faded over here and the aqua plus 100 and for this reason you are getting here the prominent blue and the blue minus 28 for the aqua look and then the saturation red saturation plus 21 orange saturation plus 38 yellow saturation plus 43 green minus 67 aqua minus 100 and blue plus 3 and luminance that is plus 42 orange plus minus 24 and the green that is minus 36 so aqua plus 13 and the blue plus 25 luminance and let's see the split toning you know split toning is that what will be the color in a shadow and what will be the color in a light portion that is the highlights value that is hue 66 and the saturation 22 and the shadow hue that is 2 to 8 and the saturation 5 and then low no lens correction issues over here and vignetting i made it a little bit minus 11 over here and the midpoint that is 50 and the camera calibration i didn't touch that you are getting amazing look from here and hit the ok button the before one and after one so before one and after one you are getting the before and after so if you need you can add another things go to the filter nick collection color effects try to love to add these type of filters for these type of photographs and the nick collection is another plugins for the photoshop editing or adding the effects 
so you can try it out from here uh, lots of preset and lots of sets of the preset and cross processing from here lots of method over here i'm using this one l03 and hit ok so it will make your photographs more prominent and it will make more color boost to your photographs if you need you can change the fill color and the opacity as well you'll get the message change and the artistic look of your photographs or child photographs so hope that you will be benefited for these tutorials and this preset if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you need to the practice purpose photographs please check out my video description i'll provide you these stock image download link in my video description and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and new free presets and uh, if you are the already subscriber of my channel thanks a lot for the subscribe and until the next video i may say signing out today bye bye